Oh, oh it's freezing, isn't it? We want it over again. I don't like this weather, I don't. I don't like it when it's cold. Go away, coldness. Oh, uh, what I've got on right. Dave rang up last night, Davidoff. No, Davidoff rang up. He's got a problem. He's another uh, lorry mechanic like me, but he chases the breakdowns. He's on the end of a phone all the time and running around the country doing breakdowns. Uh, but he rang me last night and he says uh, he's struggling. He's got the he's, he's got an air leak on a double deck trailer and on them double deckers you've got no space underneath it, it whatsoever to get under to do over with it. And he says there's air pissing out the main valve. And he says, I wonder if you could just come and give me an hand with it because obviously he's struggling. So I said, yeah, I will do, yeah. Because uh, cause there's a few good lads around here that work on commercials and that. And we don't, we don't, uh, we don't work against one another. We actually work like with one another to help one another. You know what I mean? Like some firms will undercut people and that, won't they? But we're, we're not, we're not bothered. Because, I mean, you know when you're working on your own on commercials, there's sometimes you, you might need hands, so you might you might actually need some help, so you, you don't burn your bridges. So that's where I'm going today, this morning, after my van defrosts, which could take ages because my uh, fan on this thing has decided not to work. My blower. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's hard to eco, isn't it? So, it's got a mind of its own, hasn't it? I bet this morning it thought, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not blowing in this weather. I'm not doing that. My fan stayed in bed this morning. Oh, I don't need a shave and all. My, my, my shavers ran out of batteries, and that shaver I bought, I bought it about a year ago, and I got it out of its pack uh, when I got it home, and it's one of them European plugs on it, where it's got two prongs coming out of it. I thought, what good is that? What? I ain't got one of them adapter things, whatever it is. So I thought, oh, Nanny will have one. So I went over around Nanny's, and she, she was rooted about it. She said, oh yeah, I found one here, look. Pushed him on, thank you. Anyway, it's got a walkabout now, it's got legs on it now. I don't know, nobody uses these freaking things in my ass. Do you like find that? You know, stuff just walks, doesn't it? And you can't find it anymore. <laughs> I love. You good at? How long? Well, let's see what we've got here then, eh? What is it, Davidoff? Oh. Can you not hear that early? I can. Mm. I'll get me Terry Torch. Is that where it's good, Bob? I looked in the wrong place, don't I? Oh, it's wide about that. Yeah, if you get underneath it. So all I'm going to do is widen them brakes off there. Just so, uh, just so they can move from digging the yard, basically. Get it out of the way, because obviously there's as much air pissed out that valve as what's within it. So yeah. So fuck it, I'll, uh, I'll get my tools and I'll wind up the brakes off, won't I? that's what we do around here, isn't it? It's good that he's on the shunter. You know what I mean? Gives you a bit more height, David, doesn't it? Me and Davidoff's just been rooting round, looking for these fucking things. Now, we throw away about fucking hundred of them a year, I do. And then when you want one, can't find one. Hopefully, they'll have it on the bracket in here. They'll have it on the side of the chambers and open. Uh, it's got spring brakes on all six of them. So that means I need to wind off all six of them. Yours ain't broke, ours is. Yours is alright. I can't even fit the fucking camera in. Remind myself. Good job I've got a 19mm ratchet spanner, innit? No, that's it, lot. I think. Oh no. Fucking hell. That's it, the brakes off. No. I know, why don't we just take the fucking mounting bolts off the chambers? Right, and then the way to do it, the problem you've got is, on these older fucking things, they might break. 
Ướm cái đó đây Đấy Uh, well, fucking, uh, well, just snip the LLR and make Frank going into the chamber. You must be pressurizing down the LLR, isn't it? See, so you control the LLR. Ah. <coughs> that course, you see what you're doing, David. What the hell? Hang on, Chris. Oh. They come off. That one hasn't. Which one? This one, this new one. I think it's been cut too long. Oh, has that other one come off? This other one? Yeah, whoever's fucking fit that chain, that's what they've done, haven't they? That's why I thought it was wound off. Because they've cut the fucking arm too long, haven't they? Well, I can't move it, look. Not just, but... That's what they've fucking done. That's why it was wound off. Then they cut the fucking length of the chamber down. I'll get a 19 then, just readjust it. Break up. Yeah. I'll get you one, yeah. Suck it. So I get it. You, you get another two. Professional strugglers, David, anyway. Hey? Hey? I'm going to buy you one of my tops, David. Professional struggler jumper. Right, now I'm going to wind the middle axle up off there. David off, aren't we? Oh, David off. Just, just doesn't care, does he? Oh, it's had another new chamber fitted here on this one. Is it? Mmm. Look at how much you're out of. I found one more ankle lock in one here. Oh, look at that fucker. Fucking hell, that tire's blown lot. It's got a fucking massive cut in the front lot. Inside tyre here, Dave, fuck. Oh, I'm going to tell him. Look at it, I can fit this. I can see, yeah. Fucking hell. Hey? That's a different size nut on that one. Yeah, fuck. Look, look at that tyre. She's a good one, isn't she? That tyre is. Right, one more to do. Maximum effort. I'll leave you there, people, so you can see what I'm doing. What I'm doing here, look, to wire the brake off, see that, look, that peg there? That inserts into a keyway in the chamber. And I'm going to tighten that nut up, and it's going to pull back the chamber to then uh, pull back the slack adjuster, which controls the brakes, to release the brakes off. Ah, oh, fucking hell, is it fucked inside the chamber? I have to get me fucking hammer now. See? Just be aware it might start to creak and you're getting the dust to break up, but don't panic. It's still handbrake. Yeah, check that, that handbrake's on, Dave. Yeah, that's all. Yeah? Just fucking, yeah, just double check. I don't want to be rolled over. I don't want to be rolled over on camera. Yeah? Come on, buddies, you don't want to be under there for long. Come on, buddies, get out there. I'm not going to leave you down. I thought I was going to leave them down there, Dave. Uh, the lad who owns this, he asked Dave to see if he could uh, fit that new ECU on, uh, on site here. Hmm. Might be struggling a bit there, Dave. <laughs> right. David Off is just going to take the brakes off the shunt here. Yep! Forward! Oh, lovely! She's off! She's a rolling. That'll do. That's all we wanted. Our work here is done. Tools away. Let's freaking go disco! My hands almost have the worst, worst circulation in the world, you know. My hands are absolutely freezing. Oh, the pain. Oh. Jesus. It seems to be getting worse as I get older. You know, just the slightest temperature change and fuck, my hands are killing. Freezing cold. Oh. No heater fan, no blower. <laughs> Never mind, Chris. Never mind. Never mind.
What have we got on there? What's the next on the jobbies? What are we going to struggle at next? Poor David. It's all right. We've done it, David. It's coming around to me, love. Tanner. See you later, Dave. Can't see fuck all that in the mirror. Could be nasty when you can't see how dark your mirrors. Right, let's go. How'd you get out of this place? Locked in. They're never going to let me out of here, are they? I'm going to be locked in here forever. I don't want to be in here forever. Family will miss me. I've got children, for God's sake. Let me out. Let me out of this place. Where's the way out? I'm lost. David? Where's David gone? He's left me. Everybody's left me. Everybody's left me with no exit. Oh. And then the beeping starts. Oh, that means a back door or something. I'm not getting out. Not now, I'm moving. I'm out. I'm free! We're free, people! Oh, what a relief. What a relief. Thank God for that. Shut up, beeping. Damn it! Oh. Back door. Right, let me run down quick what that was all about. Obviously, the brakes is on on that trailer. Air was pissing out the valve, so the brakes would never release without air pissing out the valve. You can't change the valve under there because you can see we've got no space whatsoever. So we needed to get the brakes off. Now, we were just winding the brakes off on them chambers, and then Dave says, oh, look, this brake ain't winding off. So we thought it was pressurised down the yellow line. But it wasn't. It turned out that whoever fitted that new chamber hasn't cut it to length. So we was thinking that the brakes haven't been, that the brakes uh, are stuck on because the air pressure was down it. That's why we went through the whole conversation of, of uh, taking the chamber mounts off, snipping the air line, doing all that. But it's a good job David noticed that that chamber had been cut the wrong length. Also would have been faffing, wouldn't we? So that's why we got the hand clocks and wound the back of them chambers off. Uh, and that brings back the slack adjuster to then release the brakes so now he can move it, get it recovered, whatever he wants to do with it. I don't care, all my job was is to get brakes off. And that's what we did, didn't it? So he needs to get it recovered now. It's his problem. Not mine. I'm going. Yeah. Right, this is a Scania R450 19 plate. We're going to change these batteries on the back. Uh, we've just tried to cover off there, look. That just clips on like that, look, with them little bad boys there. And then you're left with this here. So we're going to take these covers off here, here, here and here. Uh, and then we're going to take these billies off here. Billy bolt, billy bolt, billy bolt, billy bolt. And then this bolt is under here as well. And that's what I'm going to do. Because that's what I do, obviously, on this channel. <laughs> He's looking not like, what the fuck, Chris? Uh, I've started that trailer doing a uh, doing pads and discs on it, but I'll do that in the morning. I was uh, I was signing the service today. I was thinking to myself, what are you doing with this channel, Chris? Because you know nothing about fucking this channel at all, do you? All I do is, or well, not, I don't know how to work this channel, obviously. All I do is record record my day's work, uh, edit it at night, and post it. So I'm thinking to myself, I need really someone. If I want to grow this channel, I need someone that knows what the hell they're doing. Because I'm absolutely useless at it. 
and I can't be mothering that all day. So I'm thinking, who do I know that's good? We look like that. And I thought, like computers and that. And I thought, right, Carl, that's it. I haven't spoke to him in ages. I'll ring Carl up. So I rang him up today when I was in the services and I explained to him my situation and that. And I said, well, every, I don't want to I don't want to change the content of it. I've got fucking loads of content. I've got more content than I don't know why. So I've built robots before, I do oil paintings, I've done fucking loads of stuff. Uh, so content's not an issue. What the issue is, uh, everything else basically, isn't it? Because you see, go on these other YouTube channels, and it's all like uh, proper, isn't it? Like there's a merch shop and that, and all that shit. They don't want fucking get their own merch made and package it out themselves, or like that, do they? So I'm thinking, I need someone a bit more that's clued up on this shit. Yeah, so I spoke to Carl, and Carl says, I can't do it like straight away, like obviously, meaning not today, but he says, I'll give you, like, give us all your info, and I'll try and sort something out for you. Because he's into his stickers and that. Because I like these little quotes. You know what everyone like put? The little sayings what everyone put. It, there's one the other night what tittled me. It was about, uh, oh, that was it. Obviously, my copper slip, innit? And uh, someone put anti-struggle grease. <laughs> you know, little stuff like that. Like, it's on a sticker, so you can stick it over your fucking copper grease. And every time you pick up your copper grease, you go, <laughs> anti-struggle grease. <laughs> I'd like that. I, I, I want to fucking buy this stuff and all. I can't wait if it fucking opens. I can't wait to buy my own fucking merch. I want to buy it. It's funny shit, isn't it? I love it. So, Carl, sort my channel out, please, my friend. Please, I'm begging you, because I don't know what I'm doing with it. I really don't. I'm bloody useless at it, Carl. And, uh, I am. So, please, Carl, sort it. Where's my keys? Where are my keys? Oh, they're here. Yeah, so hopefully, boys, we might get a bit of a, uh, what's it called? Professionality to the channel. Won't we? Because that's what we want, innit? I want it anyway. I do. Professionality. 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 The financial struggler struggles on through his YouTube struggling struggles. Innit? Let's fucking crack on. I want to go home. Have this freaking thingy on what I've just bought. Some food. And I've got to give this to Aime because I rang her and she says, I want uh, kebab, kebab meat and chips, but ask for lots of garlic mayo, Chris. Because she said last time I said to you, ask for lots of garlic mayo, and there was hardly any, uh, any mayo, uh, mayonnaise on it. So remember, ask for lots of garlic mayo. So they are. I've got you lots of garlic mayo, babe. I'm on the way home. See you shortly. There's Dave, look. It's a different Dave, not the Dave I've been working with this morning. Different Dave with his little dog. See? I've just waved to Dave with his little dog. His dog looks like a little corgi dog. Is it a corgi? What the queen has? Looks like that, anyway. It's like a little, like a, like a fatter version of a sausage dog. Hmm. It looks very soft, though, and silky, Dave. Hmm. I wouldn't mind patting that dog. Well, I've got a foot all tea about this. I've got to go, Anna. I ain't got time for this shit. I've got to eat my dinner. See you in a bit, David. I'll pat your dog next time, David. All right, see you in a bit, guys. I'll catch you fucking tomorrow. Or whatever. Whatever, Chris. Fucking shut up. Look at all these youths on these bikes. Little hoodlums on bikes. And they everywhere, aren't they? Little hoodlums. Oh, you little boggers, you. Don't run on me, you little boggers. Yeah. After robbing the dirty, greasy man of all his nondescript money, of all his washes. <laughs> Catch you in a minute, guys!